all I can say is thank you a million times um, because they are a blessing God sent. I just thank them for everything that they have done. So we're expecting the worst that he looked up at us and said, she's, she's actually, she's breathing. So everything kind of had to kick in gear at that point. We put her on a monitor and realized that um, she had a fighting chance. Cody and I started CPR and we suctioned her and then I felt her move her shoulder. And that's when we were all just a little amazed by her. And um, so we all had a little hope and we got excited. My whole entire hand could probably fit from the top of her head down to her waist. No bigger than maybe a potato. On the way, I talked to her the whole time. Like we were telling her flight little girl, like we didn't know her name or anything. It was kind of hard. We didn't learn her name until later. We Facebook stalked her a lot and uh, looked at all of her pictures and then we couldn't help ourselves but to message her and ask her, you know, how it was going and just to make sure that she knew she had continued support from her community and from us. That day, not a lot of us, we didn't even know if we would make it to the hospital, let alone look seven months down the road and look at where we are now. It's crazy seeing her. Every time I see her, it's just like, I can't believe this is so that little tiny, tiny potato that we had in our hands all the way back then. And now she's, she's grown up. She's a fighter, turned into a strong little girl. I was shocked. Yeah, I was blown away. I'd never been asked to do anything like that, um, especially you know in our the career that we have. You don't ever really get feedback much from patients. We pick them up, we treat them, we drop them off, we leave. Or you know, a few weeks later, we'll be like, "Hey, what do you think ever happened to that person?" And we don't hear a lot back. They always have open arms. They love on her like she's one of theirs. And so that's one thing that I love about each and every person at Station 3. They saved her, so that it's, you know, that's one thing that I can do is take her by there so she will know who they are. 